Hi guys. We have pickups, we have stickups, and uh, we all rushed to be here all at the same time for you because we see you, we hear you, and we feel you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Okay, who's going to start with the, that the great. great the great pickups of the week? Who wants yeah, to I start? We, I thought we all rushed here because Mikey was supposed to be here and he, he no call, no showed us. Oh, yeah, this is what he's done for like three weeks. He's like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll make it. And then he's just still there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is what it is. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna text him. Hey, so I, I'll go. What is it? I got Boiler Room. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Promo. Ooh, saucy. Oh, that's such a good movie. I love that movie. Thank you. Oh, yeah, see, are, are we going to see the sides? What's going on? Uh, he's so, got so many. He's just running through them. Yeah, I was just going to run the fuck through. It is a no, um, it's a no watermark sort of like uh, whatever. Spin, spin the I tape don't, We got to spin the tape around. That I don't good. think is a resale. That's all good. Who's the producer? New line? That's it is, uh, yeah, new line. I don't know if they have watermarks. I don't think so. They don't like watermarks on their. It's got like platform. a little H theme on the back. Yeah, that's that's legit. that's legit. That's good. I think it's legit. Yeah, that's such a dope movie. That has yeah. the, the I should do a better job of that. All right, I paid nothing for this from Video Sanctum, and I Ooh. I fucking heart Video Sanctum. Um, it was like two hundred bucks or three hundred bucks or something. I was just like done, done. Oh, cool. Is that a beta? Uh, Twirl it around. Yeah, beta. Got the little silver. Got the little silver sticker. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, it is all the uh, the the Sizzlers. Uh, Sissy Spacek, I think, is the the special guest. There's some killer um, Saturday Night Live uh, Warner Home Video clamshells. Um, one that's got Bill Murray on it that I've never seen mm -hmm. sealed. Um, yeah, I know. Chris is already yeah. looking for it. I, man, it's hard to stay ahead of you guys, just for the record. You, you never, I've just, never yeah, seen Yeah, just those. for the record, you cannot stay ahead of Carter, and, like, we were in this before him. Yeah, Carter, I mean, it's over. Jesus Christ. I I generally don't know what's going on anymore. I had, like, a fucking six-month head start before Carter, and he's surpassed me. I did uh, Death of a Salesman beta um, to uh, go with my, my boiler room. It's uh, Dustin Hoffman. Mm. That's cool. Yeah, it was not uh, super expensive. Got some uh, strange ass watermarks on it. Carl Lorimar TV. Right. No, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. I uh, I basically picked this up for a friend who doesn't watch the show. Uh, who I need to give it to. Our, uh, I'm going to try to drag him into our sick game. Uh, one, uh, Dinesh Shamdashani, the Cincinnati kid. Oh, that's a cool one. <laughs> Damn it! That's I cool. had my eye on that, and I never pulled the trigger on it. Way to fail, yeah. Carter. We're so disappointed in you. Beautiful. So disappointed. I got like... Uh, been too long. I apologize for my long absence. Summer school. Oh, absolutely. I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, which I'm. I'm not. The only thing I'm not happy about is it doesn't have the back watermarks. And then mm. as soon as I bought it, somebody put one up with back watermarks, and I'm like, motherfucker. And uh, I just gave up at that point. I was like, eh, I got a cool one. I don't care. Along came Polly Screamer. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, I picked up. Um, Rando copy of train spotting. I think oh. I paid nothing for it. Got the little sticker at the bottom. Gets all right. Nightmare on Elm Street. Oof. Uh, I got the, nice. the red. It's a safe case, right? It yeah. is not the full box. Okay. Yeah. Good. Still a good one though. Still a good one, yeah, for sure. Still media. Not, not video. Yeah. Right here. That was the next question. 
Um, got a Blade Runner. Ooh, oh, nice. Uh, Nelson on Nelson. Um, it's always a good one. There's one on. Um, what release is that, Nico? On Heritage coming up. That should be. That's the third. Third, uh, fourth, something. Yeah, that's third. You could say fourth because there's there's the like I have the uh, the A pause uh, the what is it? Help me out here, uh, Charles. <laughs> White slip case before that one. Embassy. Which one? Embassy. Uh, embassy, embassy. Embassy on Embassy. Yeah. The Embassy Sorry. slip case, but right? with the Nelson watermark. So you can yeah. kind of say that's the third one, right? Yeah, I got Nelson on Nelson. So that would be the fourth one. Yeah, yeah that would be like the fourth. Yeah. Yeah. Late, late, late. Uh, some this they gave me for free. I thought that was nice of the person. Damn, they're giving so, out these Star Treks for free, man. I know there's so many of them. I've also gotten several of them for free. <laughs> I was like, thanks, that's nice. Um, because I got Enter the Motherfucking Ninja. Oh wow. Ooh, with the bottom. That's a very cool cover. The bottom tab. Nice. Very yeah. happy. For those that don't know, I think this is the movie that launched the 1980s uh, Ninja. Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> so much good ninja movies back Absolutely. then. Absolutely. Yeah. Be still my heart. Did that really push uh, Ninja Gaiden? For real? That's cool. Yeah. Looks like it did. Yeah, right? Yeah, that was my shit when I was a little kid, dude. Mm -hmm. Me too. I thought I was a fucking ninja. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein. Ooh, I love that. Now, it's not the super cool one. It's uh, got the H scene, but with the side watermarks. I didn't pay much for it. I was pretty excited. I've watched Frankenstein like once a month for the past five months. I think it's it has become my favorite horror movie. Frankenstein? Yeah, Frankenstein. All right, so here's the uh, the old crown jewel. That's what I got. I was pretty excited about. I want to thank Carter for hooking me up. Uh, hello. How you doing? Good to see you. First release. I was a little scared about the, uh, the sticker, right? Because it was like a little off center. Mm-hmm. And I had to ask for like a thousand million uh, photos because literally, like you can see, like right there, yeah, mm. yeah, but like you can see, it's fucking like mm -hmm. up a little bit. I'm like, God, damn. The thing about the stickers, though, I have like a ton of those Warner clamshells, the betas. If you if you try to pull the sticker up at all, it leaves like um, it rips the silver off of the sticker, and it'll say void. Yeah, like there's oh. no way to peel them off and stick them back on without. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was like, we are so not hard. gonna fuck with this. You, yeah. you got to get that thing encapsulated. Yeah. That's what I'm and saying. Um, I was like, God damn, put it in plastic. Yeah, uh, and I'm pretty sure the the early ones of those two, those stickers were put on by hand. They weren't from a machine, so it was somebody right. just hitting them with stickers and spots. So damn, that's what made them wonky. Oh, happy day. <laughs> Oh, happy day. I think uh, so. Uh, Juke didn't understand how important he makes me small makes me uncomfortable. Will be sorry. I feel like a little too much attention on me, but <laughs> she didn't appreciate how uh, integral the the vacation films were to our our childhood. Well, it's just like it's Man. National Lampoon, Come right? On. There's like so many of those. Everybody no. has an Uncle Eddie. Your brother is uh, arguably <laughs> going to be someone's Uncle Eddie. <laughs> I think I'm Uncle Eddie to a lot of people. So, See? you know, everybody Uncle wants Eddie. to put their dead grandmother on the roof of the car. Been there. <clears throat> the shitter. Been is there. Full. Everybody's going to go a about vacation. They go to some Ricky didn't casino, lose a couple thousand. They're like, oh my god, what happened? Like, yeah. I just watched the the Vegas one again a few weeks ago. I love so that good. one. Yeah. yeah, until I got to VHS, I didn't even know that there were more than just the Christmas one. It was the only one I've ever seen. Oh, oh my God. God. The Christmas yeah. one is good, though. All Your right, go sit in the corner. Like 22 minutes. Of boobs. All right, next? who's next? Yeah. I'll go. Hey, oh, Carter. The King okay. Of the okay. Um, this is, this right here is my favorite oh, wow. of the pickups. Okay. So this movie here is uh, Scream for Help from 1984. Uh, from what I understand, this came out in Britain um, well before United States. And what I like about this, um, I, I watched this movie on YouTube. And in the comments, they mentioned that there's a sex scene in the middle of this movie that was 
drastically cut for cable and for you know for whatever reason it was cut and so, yeah. the, the VHS has that scene in it has the full unedited scene so you're going to open it <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> Uh, but what I really appreciate is that, you know, like there are very, oh, look at that. Oh, you know, green two, tape too. Two-tone tape. And look at the, look at the watermarks. Juicy. Juicy no, that, yeah. watermarks. That covers that's a, That's even open. It's kind of a hard tape to find too. Scream for help. There, yeah. There's not a whole lot of them. You've seen them floating around Charles? out there. You've seen it before sealed? No, I haven't seen one sealed before. But even even <clears throat> open, they're hard to find in good shape. They're, it wasn't around too much uh, for the longest time. You couldn't even get that on DVD. They finally did a Blu-ray like three years ago. So for the longest time, it was the only way you could watch it. Yeah. So uh, I guess the the premise of this movie is that uh, a girl's stepfather is trying to kill her mom, and uh, she and nobody believes her when she finds out the plot so this is a really actually is a really good movie and uh it, it feels it feels real 80s it feels really? real 80s yeah <clears throat> it's got yeah. tits in it. it's got it's got a lot of tits in it so you know it's Ooh. um it, it is a good movie it's um it was directed by uh, a guy named winner and he also did death wish and the sentinel so he was oh, a great no. director yeah so I, I like this movie. I, I'm a believer in this movie. There are actually affordable copies, sealed copies online right now. So get them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm a believer in this. This is this this movie is cheap. This tape is cheap. So the I cover's dope. Yeah, this, I like that cover. This cover is awesome. Look at that. Yeah, and it goes all the way down to help too. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good, man. All right. What's next? Um. Let's do, oh, let's do this one. Let's do this one. Okay, so we have, we've got Batman on Betamax. Beta. Mm -hmm. Beta. And Those we have, cool. we have a very, very faint watermark <laughs> right That's there. Betamax, man. But you know it's I like the beta. This is so adorable. Well, yeah, there's so much more them. rare than the VHS, right? Just freaking find those VHS. Yeah, that's favorite. mean. VHS, even VHS. for Batman, I mean, that's the time when Beta was so. It was like five percent of VHS sales at that point. So yeah, there was not a lot of those. <laughs> okay, what would you say is more rare, the the screener, the VHS screener, or the Betamax? What would you say? Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean the diet. People. Yeah, I mean the the screener's so cool. There's not too many of those. Mm. Okay. I've I mean I've seen more screeners than I've seen betas. Me too. I'll be honest. Have you? I, mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't even know this existed. Me neither. No, I, I've seen probably close to a handful of those. Mm -hmm. But I've seen the screener about at least ten times, ten or fifteen times. Okay. They're still rare, but yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna do. Let's do this one. Let's talk about this one. Um, what the what what the hell is this? <laughs> Thunderbirds are go. <laughs> it's a cartoon, right? It's uh, it's like a um, like claymation or something. They're using puppets. Oh, okay. What so the they, fuck? Yeah. So it was a show from the '60s, and this is the feature film. Feature film. It's settled. We got to bring back the other VHS. Yeah, I was gonna say, where's our other? How long's a no show? And we're talking about puppets. I mean, I, I think it's a. We should have had a monkey on this show. So that was one of those shows in the '60s, right? Like HR Puff and stuff and stuff, right? Was yeah. Like one of those. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Team America World Police is uh, modeled after. Modeled after this, like For banana sure. splits, those kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, okay. It's got the bottom seal. Oh yeah, yeah, early seal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I yeah I saw it, I'm just like, it's stupid, but it was cheap enough, so I'm like, <laughs> all right. Any of those like do those those lower seals, I mean, you should always get them. A good yeah, price. Mm -hmm. for sure. Ooh, I love this. I freaking love this. But the um, okay. So we have Ministry of Vengeance. Nice watermarks. Is that a promo? 
No, this is um, it's that white sticker. Regular release. Yeah. It says, "Remember, we guarantee no mm. reduction of suggested retail price for twelve months." That's what it says on the sticker. That's such a bad movie. <laughs> Uh, it's starring uh, John Schneider. I never got around, like, I saw, like, maybe the first five minutes, and I never got around to uh, seeing the rest of it. That's a, it's got a good, immediately. excellent mustache, though. It's Looks got like a good cast. Mustache. I mean, George Kennedy's in it, Ned Beatty, and Yafet Koto's in it, so yeah. it's just not a good movie. <laughs> yeah, look, look at that cast. That but, may have been directed video, too, for... Uh, Media, Pro yeah, probably. It just looks cool. I, I saw it. I'm just like, it was, it was cheap. How could yeah, you pass up that stash? I can't. That guy's mustache <laughs> is mesmerizing. <laughs> I want this, I want that face tattooed on like my my chest, like right here. So oh, I by, see the, every morning. by the way, this is uh Bo Luke. I mean Bo Duke from uh, Dukes of Hazard. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Maybe yeah. it's a sequel to Dukes of Hazard. I've never, that? I've never watched Dukes of Hazard. I feel like no. I get enough of that yee shit in my day to day life like, from West That's Virginia. So. It's a sequel. This is like he goes undercover and he like has to go to witness protection and it becomes Ministry of Vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna tell everybody. <laughs> okay, so we got another uh, Lorimar release. We have Hard Choices from 1984. Is that how you feel all the time? Hard choices, mm. right? Hot times. Um, it, I never, I, I, I tried to find a, um, I tried to watch this thing online and I couldn't. Couldn't find it? Yeah. That guy looks like he's out of choices. I could, I don't, he looks like he's getting it, doesn't he? <laughs> and, and what I appreciate about this, more juicy watermarks. Mm, watermarks, yeah. Juicy. Mm, I mean, love it. The the guy who directed that actually co-wrote Point Break, which is funny. So, but he wasn't a good director. I think the best movie he ever did was like Kickboxer Three. So he was not a good director. <laughs> Kickboxer. A, wait, wait. Yeah. There's a Kickboxer Three. Oh yeah, there is. Oh, <laughs> I bet, dude. I bet you there. I bet you there's like Kickboxer Ten, and mm -hmm. we don't even know about it. We should keep Kickboxer going. We should just make a new one, Kickboxer Twenty Two <laughs> in space. In space. All right. Now I bought this. Well, he's the friendly ghost. Now, does anybody would anybody know why I would buy this? You're a creeper. You like little kids. Well, okay. <laughs> Charles well, immediately goes to something nefarious. Well, yeah. you know, like I got to go all the way, so there's. I know I didn't go too far. <laughs> okay, so with um, cartoon animated classics, this was the only oh, one. Wow. That had this, like it had, it was two tone, translucent. Every other listing for any other cartoon classics was like a black tape. So this You're was the only one. one. You're a sneaky one. I, this guy's I don't checking know. What's for going two -tone on? Tapes? I have to I ask. I, listen, I, I spent about a half hour just searching through every. Oh, I bet you it was more than a half hour. How long? I, you yeah, you first? think it was a half hour? <laughs> Seven hours. Yeah. Did, you, did you not go to work for three days? And you're like, that's it. I, that's it. I cracked the code. There's only one. It's a one of a kind. When 15 finished, hours a day on eBay over here. When you were finished, did you have a big bar graph that was like one side that was normal, and then the other side was like colored? And it was like, you're the only one. I have the data. You ain't too far <laughs> off, but yeah, look at that. I, That's cool, though. I would have bought no, it. Those are cool. Yeah, I wish yeah. I had the little sound clip. I'm of sure the... you got it cheap, too, right? Yeah, of course. It was like, yeah. like I paid $900 for it, guys. Come on, it's doubled. <laughs> I, I always buy colored tapes just because my, my best friend who I do the what's not with always says that she's a slut for colored tapes. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm buy them. I'm, <laughs> I'm a slut for colored tapes, too, because. You, you got to find them. You got to pilfer the kids' movies to get the colored tapes. I'm telling you, yeah. you gotta tear them. especially sealed shit. I, yeah, I like to do. I like to do a lot of like uh, swaps. You know, like put reanimator yeah. in a green one, stuff like that. You know. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Nice. That's cool though. I've never seen a colored two tone tape. Okay. Um, last week I had shown off an electric video. It's another. Um, one. It, so we got yeah, we got another sealed one. That's so cool. this is. Okay, so from what I understand, this is a documentary on Winston Churchill narrated by Orson Welles. 
Cool. So it's called, so it's called the finest hours, and uh, it's still sealed. That's cool. So from 1964. So we found another electric, a sealed electric video, and on top of that, it's a beta. Hmm. Sweet. So even harder I, to find. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I didn't even know they. Fucked I didn't even know. I didn't even know Electric Video Inc. knew to do betas. So. I hate yeah, this. They, they did. Why? Why is like the center of the this image is like not in the center of the tape? It's off. It's a little it's off. off. I don't know. Electric video wasn't around very long. I mean, oh, I hate that. I hate electric that. video. Basically, was around for three years. And what's weird about them is there's not a lot of info on what happened to electric video. It's just kind of uh -huh. like they weren't around anymore. But they were kind of one of the first like genre of video distributors because they did a lot of really offbeat horror films that weren't mm -hmm. like on anything else. So yeah. All right. God, I missed you, Charles. There is nothing that anyone can show on the show that you don't know something about. It, you know, it kind of terrifies me, but I'm so impressed. The well, video was cool. There's not a lot of info. They and there's not even a lot of releases from them. Like you know, it's kind of like sometimes somebody will find one nobody knew existed. They're like, oh, here's another one. Yeah, because okay, yeah, I went down the chart of electric video releases, and that wasn't on it. No, I mean, there's a lot. There's. Massacre Central High, uh, mm -hmm. Persecution, Whose Child Am I, Castle of Fu Manchu, The Ghoul. There's a bunch. Huh. So, all right, what's next? Uh, we have Sheena. Sweet. Oh, Sheena. Queen of the Jungle, Betamax. And... Donna's mom from that 70s show. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Sheena's a crazy movie. And it's, it's like PG, too, which is funny, but it's kind of inappropriate. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that from the cover. <laughs> the recorded in Canada stickers are those put on by the distributors? The who like who puts those on? Yeah, I've seen a ton of those. Uh, usually the duplicator. Most of the time they're on the outside, but some of them they put them on the inside. Okay. So okay, so what does this? What does this even? Okay, because I've seen copies yeah. that don't have this sticker on here, and there's usually a red sticker on the side so is there any difference or no i mean that's going to likely be the canadian duplicator one so that's likely was duplicated by the canadian duplicator okay um, most of those companies had if it was a small company uh, they would have had a du different duplicator from outside the united states to actually do them a lot of them would have so that's yeah it'll be a canada one does it affect the value or no uh to me it doesn't really um some people it may some people may not like that it says canada on the back you know some people mm -hmm. don't like canada some people don't I, who doesn't like I, canada i understand okay uh got a copy of the color purple mm, sweet oh nice wrap around wrap mm -hmm. around there you are more juicy watermarks look at that some of the 80s movies that didn't that that's window one. yeah that's pretty hard that's hard to find dude yeah yeah that's a cool one what's the bottom mm -hmm. on it what does the bottom of it look like okay oh it's great Spielberg then what's, what's, cool. what's what's the release on that on the back uh <laughs> it has to be 85 86 eight, okay 85 and uh 85 and 87. Mm. is there gonna be a, a silver sticker one Charles? No, no, there right. shouldn't okay. be because Color Purple came out in the theaters in the 80s, 80, 85. 85. Yeah. So it would have been sometime probably 86, 87. 86 probably would have been the first, and the silver stickers would have stopped by then. Yeah, it came out uh, December 85, it says here. The theaters? Okay. Yeah, so it has to be late. Yeah, so it's not. From VHS. I would say probably the 87 is probably the first print of that, too, because it's usually about a year from the theatrical run. All right. I don't think I always not, forget. Is, is there an earlier print than that one? I, I haven't seen so. an earlier one. The eighty-seven, yeah. right? That's eighty-seven or eighty-eight. What was it? What? What? What did you say? I want to say eighty-seven. What does it say? I'd say that's probably a first oh. print then. Uh, it says it has eighty-five and eighty-seven on the okay. back. Okay, so yeah, eighty-seven. Yeah, I think that's the first print because with mm -hmm. it coming out to theaters December eighty-five, mm -hmm. it would have had to have been like. A year to hit the video stores, so 
Yeah. Dan I always forget that Steven Spielberg did other things. Uh, every time I think Steven Spielberg, the only thing that comes to mind is Animaniacs. I don't think anything else. That's the wrong with Animaniacs, though, right? I, right? I love Animaniacs. That's what you just, think of with Steven yes. Spielberg? Yeah, it's must, again, maybe it's a generational yeah. thing, but I'm like, I don't know anything by Steven Spielberg, except for uh, Duel. He did one of those. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> my truck movies, yeah. Duel and Nick, Nico's, Nico's obviously busy because he okay. would have been like, <laughs> he did this. He did he do that movie, priceless. Steven Spielberg, about the the big old dolphin, wasn't it? Wasn't it a dolphin? Nico's just not phased by my bullshit anymore because I. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what did you just say? You I said the only thing I think of when someone says Steven Spielberg is Animaniacs and maybe yeah. Duel. He did the I'm dolphin like, movie, the, the killer orca, the killer whale. He did that one, didn't he? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> Did Spielberg do Orca? No, Orca? I'm just being an asshole. Oh, I'm like, no way. I didn't know that. What the... What's next? Uh, we got... It hurts. <laughs> oh, man, Carlitos way. Carlitos. I like this movie a lot, and this movie is hella cheap, and it's got the MCA watermarks. I have and a... I have a screener one of those. I have a screener one of those, and I love it. Carlitos. And not and not to be outdone. There it is. Does it look like this? There it is. Yep. yep. Okay. Gigante. Yeah. Oh, dude. There's yeah, something I, I love I about up. Steven Spielberg directed everything. You're right. Yeah. yeah. And all I think of is Animaniacs. That's funny. There's something about the MCA screeners at that time I love. Just that it's just a black face front with just the logo of a movie on it, and it just focuses yeah. on the movie. And I just love those. I, really I, appreci do. I appreciate that they put the freaking uh, watermarks on here. Yes, they do. Hell yes, they yeah. Do. So, so those should always have watermarks from MCA for their screeners. Okay, cool. Just so we know. All right, sweet. And I believe, I believe, I believe last... Oh, actually, here's um, another copy of uh, Lethal Weapon. Oh, cool. Wraparound? Sweet. Not no. wraparound. It's not wraparound, but... It was cheap enough. Still, I think they're they're great ones out there, and there's still a lot of clean copies of those for way too cheap, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, I, I feel the wraparounds too cheap because mm -hmm. I rarely I rarely see them, and then when they sell, they sell graded for like twelve hundred bucks. I'm like, okay. It's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a egg hunt for a lot of those because a lot of people don't know which one they have, and they're kind of just getting dropped on eBay. So exactly, yeah, that's how, that's how it works. And last but not least, we have another copy of Scrooge. Did you ever get a beta one of those? No, I can't. I I can't beta. Yeah, I can't find a beta. I got a beta I, in Heritage's auction. Yeah, I was gonna say somebody got the Heritage auction one, and I was really, really wanted it, but <laughs> uh, they do, they're gonna have a remake next year of this one, I think, with uh, Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell, maybe. Really? We, we we talk a lot about these later betas, guys, because it's just like anything past like eighty nine in the beta starts to get so rare. Not yeah, I was just going to ask you guys if you saw the... Um, I thought about buying it, but I wasn't sure the Lethal Weapon 2 they just sold, the Betamax. Mm. It, it went for like under 100 bucks. Yeah, that would have been a good one. I saw somebody put a Ninja Turtles 2 beta up that I haven't seen before. Mm. Did I see how much that I one went for? Mm -mm. I could have swore there was a Ninja Turtles 1 Betamax. Yeah, there is. There's oh, been two in the last month, month and a half. Yeah. <clears throat> I've considered getting it. I forgot what the price was on it, but I'm like... Ooh. Well, I think there's one on auction right now. Okay. A lot All of right. those betas have started getting a lot of interest. <laughs> They've shot up really quick. Mm -hmm. It looks like the um, the Ninja Turtles, the first one, the beta went for like 500 bucks, and the second one, it took a best offer, but something less than 240 Oh, my God. Jeez. Oh. I love part two. Sweet. Oh, we, okay. are, the, we are the world? We, we, we are the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you before that I'm buying some of those video, those music ones too, because they're cool and they have great watermarks. We are the world. I heard that song a million times. It's so, like holding hands. It's all holding hands right now and sing. They're swaying back and forth and shit. Looking way too cool for the room. Let's start giving. Okay, so I've got the Betamax and I've got the VHS. We're done. Cool. Now you just need the Jim Jones special to go with it, and you're good to go. That's true. All right. Chris, you got anything for us this week? I got a few. Um, I think, Carter, you got one last week. Ooh. Oh, there's the one. Oh, shit. Yes. Wrap around. Yeah. It's a wrap around. I love it. Mm. 
Wrap around, now, gang. Did these ever you know, come with a gray tape? Because I, I don't with the gray uh, with the two tone. I haven't seen any with the two tone. Okay. And yeah, you know those are so hard to find with wrap around too. The Universal Horror ones so hard to find. Yeah, that's what I figure, and it's VHS. So let me see the front of that. Oh, okay. I know that when on VHS that there are two of these old MCAs, and there's a restored one, and there's one that isn't yeah, restored. Yeah, like so comes that, up somewhere here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I just figured that out because I sold an open one, and I'm like, wait, I think mine looks different than this, but mine's the older one. Yeah. And that would be, you know, the the, the first run of, of um, Frankenstein was the rainbow, the the original rainbows. So those yeah. are those are people that have to go with it, but that's cool. Are those I've boxes? Never, I've never or seen slip cases. One. They're slip cases. They're slip cases. Yeah. You got stepfather. Oh, I love stepfather. What kind of watermark? Yeah. Betamax. Now I have a question about those watermarks. Actually, um, I mean the condition on this one is freaking on point, dude. It's so good, but the embassy watermarks usually they're on the back and really big. These are mm. in the front and a little smaller. This should be fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just wondering if if it it's still like an extremely fun. early print or um, or is it maybe I, I, was that a beta or a VHS? It's beta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some of the betas with the front ones, front ones like that. From MBC. yeah, it just. I just thought it was interesting because it's it's smaller for sure. I've got I've got a beta and mine looks exactly like that. Yeah. See, I I, I wonder if, if we can maybe get some more examples of the betas because I'm wondering if the betas ran maybe through a different uh, duplicating run. You know, when they packed them, it may have well, been a smaller do, amount. Yeah. Well, I do have betas with the big watermarks on the back too, though. <clears throat> yeah, so that's why I was wondering if it's going to be like a like a later thing because I have a lot of the ones that are like really early ones. And they're on the back. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I love the condition. Of this guy, man. But for really Stepfather, really I mean, being a beta, that's likely the the first run because I don't think they did multiple runs of the beta on Stepfather. It wasn't very um, desirable at the time. That, you know? that tape is hella undervalued. Does anyone ever desire yeah, a Stepfather? <laughs> it's not John Locke it from Lost. <laughs> So great. So I got these a, a bit ago. I haven't shown them Ooh, off yet. Oh, nice cool. Coliseum. So yeah, this is the French version. I have the for the third one. It's beta. Wow. Oh, I saw that, dude. That's a beautiful what? copy. Yeah. And I love the ones that are different language because they're so much more rare to have one that's version in Francais, version Espanol, you know. This is just rare, period, man. So I'm like, I just wanted one, period. Man, those right? those side those side Coliseum stickers. Yeah, they're dope. They're, and what does it say? A and H, A and H video. Yeah, very cool. That's what you want to wow. find, look for. The body slam. I got number two. Oh no, shit. Yep. Nice. So who was on the first one? Hulk Hogan and what's the DC? Well, this was the third one. This is um, Andrew, Under the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Under the Giant. And right. who's on that one? The other one they have. King Kong. Hulk Hogan Bundy. and yeah, King Kong Bundy. Okay. Oh, that looks that looks like my dad. King Kong Bunny looks like <laughs> that's my dad. Roddy Roddy Piper. What? Oh yeah, so that's dope. And then I, I got some time with a uh, Roddy Roddy Piper once. He's a really nice Did guy. Did you really? Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Here's the first one. Wow. Yeah. It's fucking killer. And who's yeah, on that one? Hulk and him. considering getting all of them or like chasing all of them, but but I don't know, they're so expensive, yeah. they're so hard to find. So when you find them, people want a lot of money for them, and they've always kind of been consistently high, you know, those old ones. <clears throat> now, should should I try getting these signed? Ooh. Fuck no. I say no, no, right? Yeah, I say no Fuck too. How no. rare are they? If they're super <laughs> but rare, I mean, say no. They are super rare, but then imagine now having one signed by Hulk Hogan. Well, you, you could, you could get a cool signature and put it underneath. I've, see, I've actually seen a couple auctions. People have like uh, first print runs of DVDs and then the autographs underneath of them. I like, even not like on seeing, the DVD. If you get it graded, get the graded case on because I've seen those mm. done. Too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I just think it's so rare. I kind of don't want to get it signed. Who is on that with it's Hulk Hogan and who? That's Mr. T. Mr. T, okay. T. Yeah. Pity the fool. I thought so about the jewelry, but I didn't want to say that and sound like an asshole. <laughs> Not every dude with a ton of jewelry is Mr. T, my alley. Okay, sorry. Racist. <laughs> oh, nice. There you go. Oh, nice. With the bottom one? Yep. Wow. This is beta. 
Wow. So it doesn't. I have the VHS one with the older logo. Jeez. Yeah, I was gonna right? say that's the other one. Yeah, no sticker. So this is the this. I guess this is the second print, really, because it's got the the second logo, but it's got the bottom sticker. That's killer. Uh, that was Very a popular. Nice. Uh, that was a really popular tape at the time. MGM actually sold a lot of those. Did really they? popular oh, seller. Well. Yeah, I've I've only seen them twice, and luckily I've gotten them twice. <laughs> That's good. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> I mean, this is the time when movies were really expensive, and a lot of people wanted that because it was just, yeah, they looked cool, you know? Yeah. And it's also in really, really, really good condition. It's beautiful. Yeah. So that's it for me. All right, guys, okay. I'll, I'll show you real quick. Okay. Nice. Oh, I man, it's hard out here for a pick. Oh, wow. I mean, I, dude, I stared at that tape legitimately. Wait, did you get it off eBay? This one? Yeah, I think so. With I stared one. at that tape forever. The guy wanted like four or five, six hundred bucks, maybe. Yeah, it was expensive. So. And uh, I was just like, I, I, I don't have the balls to do it. I mean, forever. I'm glad that it went to beautiful you. tape, though. Because I'd have been you fucking irate if it went to somebody I didn't know. I was, I was just talking about that movie uh, last night. Ludacris in it. So great. That's right. Oh, that's cool. oh, oh, man. Shit. oh my man, Paul Walker. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in R. peace. R. Paul. Birthday's coming Good up. So I think this one is greener. This movie is is underrated. I I really like this movie a lot. It's a cool movie. Yeah, it is. That's cool. Yeah, just don't watch the sequels to it. They get real bad. <laughs> Ooh, that one's cool. Oh, oh, that's a good one. Nice. Big day for MGM on the show. I know, man. This is a scary movie. Um, oh, species. 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 Nice. You know, classic like, horror thingy. I mean, this I is never, old. I never even think to look for that freaking movie. Okay. <laughs> this <is a> <laughs> movie. Carter's yeah, gonna show one next week. Carter <laughs> species. Um, another eighties that I like a lot. K nine. One of the body couple. It has a watermark, but it's really. Hard to see, but as long, as long as they're there, yeah, it is somewhere in there. But this is the first release with the MCA, Young Belushi, yeah, yep. Jim Belushi. Man. Then I want, I want to redo that picture with you, me and it. Ooh. That's dope. Exactly. Beta? No, no, VHS, VHS, yeah, no, but it's so cool. Those are my favorite yeah. watermarks. Mm -hmm. The Alliance ones? Little turtles. Oh, the turtle no, one. No, no, that's not the Alliance one. Yeah, that's the American uh, the Alliance There it is, the turtle one. Ones too, but I, I like this one too. So. With the Pizza Hut, yeah. Pizza Hut. Yeah, oh, okay. Paul Walker again. Fast and the Furious 2. He was the lead on this one, so... I mean, it was not being Diesel, I think, on this movie. I saw, no, that, movie. That, I saw that movie in the theater. I saw Vin the movie in the theaters too. Wait, Vin Diesel's I, not in that one? No, it was so really? bad at the time. I remember I was so uh, I was so dorky at the time. I went with my car club to go see Too Fast Too Furious. Is <laughs> Fast and Furious so cool. the series of movies where Vin Diesel's always like, "We're a family, family, yeah. family." How do you how do you not know this joke? <laughs> I don't family. watch these. Why would I watch car movies? I, I watch everything. That. That's my problem. Oh, part two. There you go. Oh, two HBO video. Look at that. One or two on eBay for like. It's got the watermarks. It's a great yeah. HBO watermark in the front. I mean, this one. Be careful like, with those HBO ones, man. The wipe person. off in your hands. Don't don't touch them. <laughs> great cover. Um, it's a crazy movie too. If you Jeez. can get this one cheaper, on the fifty bucks. I mean, you should take. Man, it. that's crazy. Put that in a nice like acid-free acrylic one, so you don't lose your watermark. And then golden a, line. Yeah. My man, yours, bros, man. That's a cool one. They're not. You, know, you kind of look easy like to find. Frozen. You look just yeah. like him. Double Dragon. Double Dragon. What? Killer. I love that movie. That used to be my stripper name, Double Dragon. <laughs> and this one is the, the Mighty Guana uh, owners. Jesus, man. calm That's down. Me. It's a family show. Is it? Oh shit! I should probably say yeah. fuck a whole lot less than shit, I do. Then. Fuck. Damn it. Put the drugs mm -hmm. down. Not to <laughs> a dispensary here in LA, so. I, I actually want that. Can I buy that from you? It's amazing. Yeah. It belongs to Hans. I, I guess Hans copy. 
<laughs> Good for hands. I'll find. I'll, I'll go buy hands for you. Sorry. Hans. This was from the nineties or or eighties. I don't even know from what year this is. The Hans is on the cover or on the seal, on the plastic. It looks don't like it's don't erase it now. <laughs> Shit. But he might want it. Yeah, I think it's on the on the on the thing. Oh, it's so on the oh, man. Fortunately, it looks like resealed. Um, Hans resealed it for you. We still Hans did it. Seal it. I'll tell you a weird tape I'm looking for, Charles. I keep forgetting to ask you about it, but I saw a while ago and I missed it the Heaven's Gate cult videos on VHS. Oh my God, I want those too. Those I want them so it. bad and I can't find them. I saw them sold and they went for pretty cheap and I'm is, pretty is fucking Is the one that has Jim Jones like on the, the front real big? No, I think the guy's name was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what his real name was, but he went by like Apple. It was the Hale Bop cult people. Oh my God. I know what you're talking about. Nike I saw that shoes too. and shit. Yeah, yeah. It's so fucking bizarre, but I want a copy of them. Oh, were those yeah. like official releases or? No, no. It's like they were like a real life cult. Like, no, no. I'm just saying, like, did somebody like right? just put them out for like commercial sale? Mm -mm. No, I think this is the one that they uh, like used when they were recruiting people for their cult. <laughs> They're super rare, super fucking strange. But I'm like, yeah. I need them because yeah, you can you can get online and watch them. The guy, the guy that ran the cult, you can still find the video. And the website's actually still up, obviously, because everybody that was in the cult like what, drank the Kool Aid. Um, there's a documentary about that too. Yeah, there's a lot of documentaries about it, but you can watch the videos online. The guy, Total Psycho, um, they're still on YouTube. Somebody took them from the VHS and put them on YouTube, and you can watch them where he's like talking about the comment and like all the crazy things that they believe or whatever. But there are VHSs that the guy made that are still out there, and I saw them go on eBay not long ago, and I missed them, and I have been searching ever how since. Is, how yeah. is? I was going to ask you if Need you saw them on eBay or not. Because I was like, were they on eBay? Because I think I saw those too, and I was like, what is this? And they would sold. Yeah. I want a Scientology video if I can get one. That's the weird That'll stuff I like too. Yeah. Yeah, they were the weird cult that everyone wore the black Nikes. I think they were called like Millennium Nikes or something, and Nike quit waking them after that because yeah. obviously yeah. like the came guy right went to bed. Something. Yeah, the guy had the bugged out <laughs> eyes and yeah. Yeah. Hail Bob. Yeah, Heaven's Gate. Thought it was weird. Cool. They went anyway. to like a big fancy dinner, like Grandy's or something beforehand. <laughs> Sorry, not Pablo. Fabulous. I didn't mean to uh, turn this into a call conversation. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's get out of this. <laughs> those, are, those are interesting for sure. <laughs> I mean, Jehovah Witnesses, Scientology, you know, all that stuff. Just when yeah. you start recruiting us, we don't want to be recruited. I keep telling you. Sorry, no. my bad. My apologies. Is that all you had, Pablo? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. Salut. All right, let me show you what I got this week. Pretty excited. So a couple of just random tapes um, that I bought because I thought were cool. I got X-Men Night of the Sentinels. Um, still in plastic. Nice. It's like the first cartoon. It's number one. So I like that. Do yeah, those things have Fox watermarks or no? No, they don't. Also because um, recently, since now I uh, deal with comics, it looks just like the cover of a comic that I've been selling a lot. So I'm like, hmm, I like that. What cover is that? Um, I don't know. I'd have to pull it out. But the only reason I remember it is because Drew's obsessed with Gambit and he's got the card on the front oh. doing the doing the, the gotcha. thing that oh. he does. That'd be X-Men Adventures number one, which is the comic about the cartoon. There you go. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what this is. I just uh, found that it had Joe's Apartments on it. So I got it. Some kind of MTV Sick. thing. But picked it up super cheap. Um, I got a... Some kind of Lord of the Rings mm, that's cool. promo tape. Oh, also yeah, that's the tape. one they gave you with the VCR. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, um, I, yeah, they gave they gave it with a VCR. Like, it was a whole package thing. It was like a special edition Lord of the Rings VCR. I also got this just because um, who the fuck doesn't like Bob Ross? Oh, my God. Yeah. What, uh, what year is that? Hmm. 2002? What? I think this one was printed. That's what it says. Copyright 2002. But he was doing this. This these recordings are from the 80s, right? Or yeah, 90s? they're super old. The recordings are old, but uh, yeah. this is printed by Weber. So I would assume, yeah, it's probably the later ones. Um, I don't know. I watched the, the documentary about Bob Ross recently, and I was like, you know what? I need a Bob Ross. So what is, what then, is he, uh, uh, Maya, what is he 
he paints and he talks and, and he's a cool yeah guy. he did like uh paint tutorials and he just like had a super calming personality and um i don't know he just like wanted to teach people how to paint he was a super wholesome dude um and then he brought he like i don't know rehabbed little baby animals like he, he was just like the most wholesome dude ever and he taught people how to paint he was like a sensation on pbs so people love bob ross i love bob ross and you know that you can like not buy his paintings whatsoever like his originals mm -hmm. he had like a weird thing where he didn't want them to become like expensive commodity items so he made his family have a thing where they can't sell them so well that's what's sad really like cool. if if you watch the netflix documentary is that when bob ross died he wanted all the rights to you know his legacy to go to his family obviously and the company which was like bob ross incorporated or something is actually owned by people that aren't the family and when the son tried to sue for the rights of it he didn't get them so all of the bob ross the shit that you see the t-shirts the mints like the whole likeness, everything yeah. that they've commercialized with his likeness none of it goes to his family it's these shitty people who basically Holy sold the rights for everything yep. wow. with the so, exception of his paintings which they can't sell and those are owned by the family and it's a weird thing so they won't right. sell his paintings yeah the documentary on netflix is is really interesting um bob ross is the same though super sweet guy that's anyway, and then smart. I also got this. But it's the music oh video God. VHS tape from Spinal Tap. Cool. Well, it's like the video that they made in the movie. Is. So yeah. I thought that was cool. And then I got this. Unwrap it. Oh, oh, yeah. That is super cool. Nice laser this fine. Guess how much mm -hmm. I paid for this. Two dollars. It says $2. ten cents on the cover. Ten bucks. Get what? The wow. Out of here. Another what not special. Wow. Mm -hmm. What? Ten bucks. All right. Maya's robbing people on the wall. Ten bucks. God damn. I'll give you twenty, Maya. Ten dollars. <laughs> Double I'll your give you money. A, I'll give you eleven right now for it. <laughs> Let's go. Do you have a VHS also, Maya? Or, or I don't post? have the VHS. Not a sealed copy. Not Man. the Kenny guy, Rich. Let's get the Com US, please. Comic Connect has a screener, Pulp Fiction up. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, no yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, that's cool. That, you know who's got one is uh, Brett. Oh, really? Yeah, because I have lusted after it since the moment I saw it. It's me fucking drooling. I wonder what it's going to go for, because it's only at like 600 bucks right now on Comic Connect. Know, and I'm like, like Comic Connect and uh, uh, what is it? Golden. Uh, Golden. They've just had lackluster results. Well, I think they don't market that well. Honestly, they don't market. Yeah. Well, you'd say they, they put treasure with trash, and then the people who know what they're doing are just like, "I'm here to steal." Right. Uh, well, they they had a Back to the Future VHS DNA 9.4, and I found out about it the day it was ending. Right. And it was the only one on auction. There was nothing else on auction along with that tape. I'm like yep. Jesus. I'd be so pissed if I was the owner of that of that tape. <laughs> so freaking pissed. Yeah. Hey, let's yeah. They've actually got there. a couple. They got a couple good things in the Comic Connect auction right now. Which by the time this airs, it'll be I think eight days left oh, of cool. the auction. They've got a cool uh, Evil Dead with sick watermarks. Yeah. It's HBO Video right. one. And yeah, they have HBO. A Video. They have a media killer clowns from outer space, which is yep. unheard of to find. That's so. the one I was watching, but I'm like, I know, I know that I cannot compete for what that's gonna go for, but I just, I just want to watch it and pretend. I, I pay an uncomfortable amount for it, so let's just see where it ends up. So, killer clowns, yeah, yeah, to be eight thousand to ten thousand dollars at least. Yeah. I'm all in. Mm. That's my, opinion. but again, it's it's hard to gauge prices. And value, but if you're gonna bet on on horror, that's one of the best horror movies to to bet. Well, not only that, but I also heard that uh, Killer Clowns is getting a video game soon. Yeah, I heard that too from the. It's brothers. made like yeah. a major resurgence. Strange enough, like I used to work for uh, the Spirit Halloween and the Spencer's company for like years, and they always had shit like two years before it would make a comeback. And I'm like, they must know that like a movie's coming out or a video game or something's coming out. And like the past couple of years, they've had a ton of killer clown stuff. And I was like, this is weird. You know how I many people like I talked about movies, they have no idea. They've never seen this movie. But That's now so everybody weird. knows what it is. I'm like, okay, why is this making a comeback all of a sudden? So I feel like the price of killer clowns is just going to go up as more people <laughs> discover it. Yeah, I yeah. think it goes for between eight and 10. I mean, that's 
this I mean, cannot yeah. be too many of those out there. No, like, no, no. I, I want it. I want it really bad. So, did that have a um, um, a gatefold or a closed? Or is the first print slipcase? Yeah. I think there are only two prints. There is this one, and then there is the, uh, what is it, Midnight Movie Release or whatever, the later one that yep. has the thing at the top. There's only Here's two June. prints of it. Yeah, Killer Clowns, uh, there would not have been a full box because Killer Clowns itself, uh, the movie came out in uh, 1988. So this came out around 89. And then it was ran through media. Uh, there wasn't a subsequence. There's something weird with the rights that they didn't get back, and MGM ended up taking them and using them for the 2000 MGM Midnight movie release. Um, you know there is technically another version. There is a sub, a subtitled Espanol version that has this cover that was brought up by Concord Video in 92. That's the only different one. I don't like that they don't include pictures at the bottom on this website. Yeah, this is the this is the two. That one has a front watermark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a great spot. <laughs> but Killer Clowns is that media? Is that a two tone tape or not? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, yes. Yeah, I think it's a two. I think oh, mine's a two -tone. Uh, Indiana Jones Temple of Doom in Betamax. That looks Let's good. Else. Yeah, they got a they got some interesting stuff this time. Lolita. They had space balls. Space balls, yeah, that was the other one I was gonna watch. Curious to see what yeah. this goes for too. Killer I'm Clowns was one back. of those that they were uh, media was distributing at the time. They were basically being taken over by Video Treasures. So you have uh, Killer Clowns, if I recall. You do have the two tone, and that's actually the first one. And then you have a later one that's not a two tone, but still the media box because that was the one that was technically being distributed by Video Treasures. After I the, love this. I have an I have an open copy of this. I like oh, the that demo. one too. But I love it so much. It's not sealed though. Yeah, that's what I wonder because I have a copy of this, but it's not sealed. So I'm like, because mm, it just says factory sticker sealed. What does it say on the on the seal there? On the that's a, it just says factory sticker sealed. It says T H V seal. Okay. Uh, I think Disney put a not Disney. Um, no, because it wasn't Disney then. Was it still Disney? Touchstone. No, Touchdown. nothing yet. There was a I don't know that one without seeing the sign. I would want pictures there was a of the side of that. Demo, mm -hmm. they sold out of Canada or something. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know if if I guess maybe it still has the 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 seal, the touchstone seal. It may and have that's the touchstone why they graded seal. It. You can't see Nightmare it for Christmas was never. It was always in a clamshell. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. This was the this was the one for my childhood. Obsessed yeah. with it. So that would mean if it has the bottom touchstone uh, security stag, that means it wasn't wrapped when they got it. If they put it in there, it was just tagged. Yeah, I hate that I can't see that because I've never seen um, one with a sticker or anything. So it's aggravating that they don't have the photos on here. I wonder if you can message them for more photos. It just says THV seal. I don't know what that means. That's mm -hmm. the touch touchstone home video seal. Yeah, touchstone mm -hmm. video seal. So yeah. there's probably a silver, probably a maybe a silver, silver that says THV on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Love you know, one. it's got it's got that thick seal that goes all the way to the bottom of the tape, so it still has that. It just doesn't have the wrap, which is odd. I, don't, I uh, wouldn't think they'd grade that. There you go. Fiction. There's yep. that demo tape. Mm -hmm. Five fifty. Love, Love that. Fiction. Like I'll Pumpkinhead buy. too. I don't know if this is the first. I don't know what the first release of Pumpkinhead looks like. To <laughs> ne be honest, Nico's locked in on it. <laughs> What's up? The, oh, the, the, the Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I, yeah. I got it. I got it. I think that's the first release for pumpkin head. Yeah, that it's, would be a first. The MGM with the silver on the bottom. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's a crazy movie too. I love. Oh my God, I love that movie. Stan Winston movie. That's, that's a crazy. crazy movie, man. I haven't Scott seen the sequel though. It. One of my favorites though, Pumpkinhead. Another one that they've made awful sequels to. <laughs> Every Is the sequel awful? So oh, there's two, three, and four. Oh there's wow. Five. I'm going to see what this goes for, too, because I have one of these. Those are a lot more common than I think people think they are. Yeah, weren't I mean, they part of a box set? Like, this tape yeah. was part of a box set? Yeah, you could get them a couple ways, and it really was the movie with a commentary, because that's the only way you could have a commentary on a VHS, and a lot of people just never opened them. Yeah, I had one of these. I wonder what mm -hmm. this is going to go for. Oh, closed it. Anyway, so... 
Let's see what has sold. Some good eBay sold listings. What do you guys think about this one? It's a good price. Yeah, without the uh, one. wrap around, yeah. <clears throat> it looks like a, it looks like a, a grade good, an eight, eight and a half. That's the second eight. one of those that has sold up for about that amount on eBay in the last. What, nine I really want to clean months. that one. I really want to yes. clean and restore that one. <laughs> it looks pretty dirty. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. Can't see that corner, but these corners down here seem kind of rounded. I don't know what that would be. Yeah, that's, that's why I'm like eight on it. Hmm. Yeah. It's good, though. I mean, 455 I, I, for uh, Poltergeist. What do you guys think? Yeah. It. I mean, yeah, with the huge tear, that's a good price. Holy sure. moly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, Side sticker and, and huge tear. Yeah, man, and a big number. Yeah. That sticker looked a little, a little weird to me, too. Hmm. Hmm. Sus. Let's see what else we have here. Four fifteen for the Royal Rumble. Um, that's that. Uh, it, I was told that was like the rare wrestling tape, and I've seen so many of them fucking pop up on eBay. I don't even care about it anymore. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of state. I, I mean, I, I feel like the old clamshells are the ones to get right now because you yeah, rarely see them. I like those too, but I kind of want to see how it pans out with those. Is this like '92 release? Yeah, mm -hmm. it says. Yeah, been... most of those don't have that uh, little coin in it either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's still, guys. <clears throat> in my opinion, anything that you buy from 1990 to 1999, be careful because heavily mass produced. Yeah, I agree. very much so. Everything on anything. Gremlins. So Superman. Superman. Would you, did you see that Superman? What is that? The, that's the second. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not even wrap around, or it's not in. So it's third. It's the second sli slip case too. Second yeah, slip case. Second yeah. slip case. That's the fourth release too. Mm. I think, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I thought I thought that went for a good price, honestly. Yeah, yeah. that's a Pretty big price. number for a fourth print. <laughs> I can see. Yeah, I can a, see people wanting that though, because it's like the old style um, Warner Brothers yep. slip. Yeah, so he's supposed to be the post credit scene in uh, Black Adam. <laughs> I did not, I did not like that new Warner. trailer, man. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, it's four four three. 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 What does the bottom of that one look like? Does that one have a silver sticker or anything? Doesn't on the look like itself? it. Oh, the no, that's not going to have a bottom sticker. I don't think so. Nope. No. It's got one of those white stickers on the corner. Yeah, I think it's a good place for that. Superman win was made a lot, but any, any of the Supermans from the 80s are really hard to find in good shape or even wow. sealed, you know? Looks like somebody got a good deal on cars. That's a steal. That is so a steal. Really? What is yeah, I know, I know somebody for? who sold one of these for 6 k not long ago. 10000 yeah. Somebody got a yeah. steal on that. They've actually That's... went down a little bit because more of them came out from being available once people started selling them. Okay, wow. so what's the deal on this? Is this like the last yeah, I didn't get it from the release? Well, it's not Disney. like the... It's, no, the it was the, a, some kind of special Disney group that you had to be in. They sent them out in the, veil, in the mail. They, they weren't mass-produced. Uh, wow. They would essentially go to a catalog and say, I want this Disney home video release on VHS, and then you would be able to get one. That's all we yeah. can get. Wow. The best movie ever released on VHS is arguably is called A History of Violence. With that was Disney. the last one, History of Violence. Mm -hmm. This one is, is just which was a comic book. Well, oh history of, man, I did history not of see. Was a comic book? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah, I did and, not see that as VHS Indiana Jones and, man. Yeah, and the Cars one was about a year after VHS was officially dead for mass mass release, so it's it's pretty hard one to find. Oh, the fly. Is that white watermarks? Hmm. I love Jeff Goldblum. The white watermarks will be the the one to get with the yep. yeah, buddy. Damn, somebody. Jeff Goldblum do. is eternally fine. Man ages like wine. He's good. It's a great movie. It's one of the best horror from the eighties for sure. Great mm, watermarks on that too. Yeah, try to avoid the blue watermark, guys. I mean, yes. Yeah, How's the bottom white watermark? Is it early, uh, stick with the white. Is watermark. it the sticker? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Same with I don't balance. know what exactly it went for. Something less than four fifty. Yeah. Wow, Revenge of the Nerds two went for a grand. That's crazy. 
big number. Hard to find that though. Hard to find. I yeah. have What's never seen that. Watermark on that, the white one too. I would say yes, but let me check. Yeah, I would think it for that price, but it's so hard to find that one. Oh, well, actually. Oh, yep. There okay. it is. Yeah. yeah, it went from, like, I was watching it. It went from being real low to, like, a thousand bucks, like that. Yeah. I was actually, uh, I was bidding on that one, and the number it went up to surprised me. I was like, whoa. Child's That's a cool one. How about the child's play? Wow. <laughs> okay. I think it's a steal. Yeah, that oh. for sure yeah. is a steal. It's beautiful shape. I thought and, it was going to be a bit on it, probably. One sold at Heritage, the last Heritage auction, and didn't even, it didn't even do too, it went too low, too. And I think these are going to be good ones for people to have for later. So hard to what find. Did it, what did it sell at? Do you remember? Do you remember, Charles? I'd have it sold it up. I'm not sure. At the Heritage one? I think it was around yeah. two it sold for. This is in great shape. Look at those corners. They're so sharp. Uh, that's, um, uh, go to the back. I think that one's technically a second. That's technically a second run too. Uh, oh, really? What's the difference? Your first one would have the sticker. silver and GM sticker on the bottom. Oh, okay. okay. Bottom middle. Mm -hmm. Not the one on the corner there. Okay. So yeah, not that. Better. It would have a silver and GM sticker. And then they they stopped doing those to save money, <laughs> so then you would wouldn't have it. Great shape. That that's a cool. What's a nice shape one, but it's still mm -hmm. it's a second. Halloween, that's stuff. That's big. Yeah, that's yeah, a somebody good grabbed deal. that before I could grab it. So it seems like a super good deal. Mikey, bro. It had a great media watermark, and I literally think wow. I tried to grab it like 10 seconds after it popped up and it was gone. Wow. Bro. Looks like Jeez. it's in really good shape, too. You know, this is a later one. Um, this is around the time they were transitioning to video treasures too. So there's not there's not a whole lot of these, you know, there's not too many in the and they were cheaper at the time too. So the fact that these still finding these sealed is so hard, you know, it's really difficult. Wow. Yeah, that's a steal. Somebody got a good deal on that. Let's see what else we got here. You the second top gun release? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says first, but yeah, I know. Wasn't I mean, yeah, don't be fooled by people's inaccurate eBay descriptions. You got to double check that shit yourself. Everybody well, says everything's a first print, it's mm -hmm. not at that point. Weren't they printing both? Right? It's just harder to find the one with the back. Wow, Paris the Caribbean screener. <gasps> that's killer, dude. Yeah, that's oh, that for a little bit. For? Yeah, that sit there for a little bit. Somebody finally got it. <laughs> that's fucking killer. That is killer. Hmm. I gotta see what this sold for. Yeah, it's an award. Screener. That's not a demo. It's an award screener. So that's what they would have sent out for the, the to people who were eligible to vote on like the Oscars. Which Whoa. would it would be more rare, right? Yeah, I would say they were supposed to return those. You know, they're supposed to be destroyed, really. So, um, it's kind of that thing. Is I don't know how rare they be. There, there may be somebody who has six cases of these sitting in a distribution place somewhere, you know? Oh, like, dude, it went know. for 500 bucks. Oh, I would have paid 500 bucks for that. That's fine. <laughs> but cool. I haven't seen too many of them, and it's cool. I wonder what's going to happen uh, with Johnny Depp now. He seems like he's making a, a comeback. He was at the MTV Awards recently. I think his uh, court troubles have put him back in the spotlight. With Amber. Yeah, and, and that one I think is real close to when the, the Academy around that time switched to where they only sent DVD screeners out and they're not VHS. So that's kind of around that time too. I can't remember the exact year. Is this Vestron? What? Monster Squad? Is this no. Vestron? <laughs> yeah, it is. Holy moly. Vestron watermark, so the sticker. You need no, to a live. Oh, it is live. It is live. Okay. That's why I didn't. Mm. I, I, I offered something for that one, but they declined me. But that's a later one. Much Let's later. Let's see what they took for it. Yeah, it should be like one third, maybe even one fourth of a Vestron release. Yeah, that should be about that should be about twelve hundred dollar tape. <laughs> it went for thirty five hundred. That's so low. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty high. It's pretty high, but I would say an original Vestron should be around a ten eight to ten K <laughs> tape. So. Wow. In good shape. So I don't know, but I think it's a little high. But. Pretty cool. So remember everybody, live live video comes after Vestron. Vestron dissolved and became live video. So you'll see their tapes with the live video. It's the later one. Is this the same guy selling these? Yeah, it is. I think so. This guy's got a bunch of screeners. Oh, X-Men 2. Somebody really wanted that one. That's cool. 
Dang. That's Those cool too. Weird, How like, do I miss the these? I love the screeners. I, so bizarre. You know, you know, I, I just don't like the covers like this. Just it's just like a black boss with the X. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make for great display, but they are interesting. Yeah. I kind of like them because it reminds There's me of the old MCA one. screeners. That was just the logo. All the same guy, too. <clears throat> All the same little, guy. That's a little scary, it being the same guy. Yeah. You don't wonder how many he's got. <laughs> yeah. Maybe his dad was part of the academy and he found a whole stack of them. was like, they never yeah. opened these. He just lied. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> he just lied. What, this? <laughs> yeah. Miyazaki spirited away? That's cool Studio Ghibli? Is that the walking house? No, that's that's Howl's Moving Castle, but it's the same guy, Miyazaki. Uh, Miyazaki. Yeah, I got nothing. So. <laughs> They're that's like so animated films. Well, I love how Juke Juke knows this, and then what? she's like, Steven Spielberg, who? What? Like, I know, right? Spielberg. Sorry. What? I only know weird oh, the, shit. Oh, the Animaniacs guy. Like, oh, Miyazaki. <laughs> I like cartoons. I like cartoons, horror, and smut. That's all I know. <laughs> I grew up on Animaniacs, and still I'm like, what's this Spielberg did Animaniacs? I forgot that. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Yeah. How about these sports tapes going? I've given up on all that shit. Give me oh some sport. I can't keep up with the sports tapes. I, I don't buy anything sports. sports people like I... fucking baseball cards. Let, let, me see the let, me, let me see the Jordan with white watermarks or, or blue watermarks. No, I think there's an earlier, there's an 89 now. So that would yeah, be the second. Oh, wow. And then why? Yeah, if that's it, the one you want. If yeah. those follow sports cars, those would be $500,000 graded next year. <laughs> to all the sports people will be like, yes. I don't know shit about sports. I mean, look, guys. About sports ball. Is this the guy from Space Jam? Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's where I know him from. It's the greatest this broke Chris's ever. heart. Chris's heart literally just shattered to pieces. Dude, I'm so There's no... There you go. Space Jam guy. Like the fly guy, right? Is that the guy from Space Jam? There you go. Good. That's what I know. This one just it's another come flight with me that came before this one. Every 90s kid's idol. <laughs> Is that the guy from Space Jam? Yeah, look at the top. <laughs> Wanna be like my look at the top, Maya. There is one oh, sorry. That, um there is a blue cover of Come Fly With Me. Um that it should be before this is a 90s. It is. It's right there, uh on right the top. Yeah, on the top. I don't know what we're looking at here. Sorry. Go, go up, see the row above it. Sports ball was. Oh, up here. Are you guys talking about this stuff up here? Yeah, that's the one. That the Sports. one that's ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. That's, okay. 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 That's the, that's like the rookie Jordan card. That's the first cover we have. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. You should buy this one too. The ninety one. <laughs> you can get it cheap, but that one when he's flying, mm -hmm. that's the first. That's gonna be like the rookie VHS Jordan, where you ever first you see him on the cover. <laughs> oh my god! Watermarks. That's a huge. Uh, you got me all tingly inside. I'm excited. If you say so. I'm excited. I have no idea. Like, like Carter. I mean, you love Jordan, right? Always. Hell yeah. I mean, we want to be like Mike Carter. That He's was the goat, the, man. The best end of discussion. Era with the 80s. So. I don't know, man. <gasps> Ooh, what? I didn't see this. Oh, I didn't see that either. Dracula. Rock rounds. Wow. That was Mikey. Oh, actually, I did. I think I did see that. Mm. That was Mikey Brody again. Wrap wow. around, man. Wow. Man, would have been nice to us. get that. Oh, cool. That is so cool. Such a big price difference between these wraparounds and the sidewater mark ones. Mm -hmm. I know. You know. Dang, that's sick. It's in really good I mean, shape, too. For a while, the sidewater mark one was like 20 bucks on eBay for a long time. Those are starting to creep up too, though. I love these old ones. Okay, let's see what else. What about this one? Man, let's see what this I one for. No either. watermark. <laughs> no way. Oh, That's yeah. yeah no. That means it's not real, dude. Break it yeah, down. What? Yeah. There's no way it went for that. Let's see what yeah. it actually went for. I mean, I if, it went, for, if it went for $50, it went for too much. 300 bucks. No. 300? Yeah. It's not real. No uh, way. That That's funny, though. I mean, somebody got I, ripped from a mile away. It's not oh, somebody look at sent, that seal, too. Oh, my God. That's a video store resale, man. That's a classic. Oh, uh, oh. Somebody sent it as a joke and they got accepted. <laughs> He's like, oh, Oof. <laughs> Oof. yeah. That was uh, awesome. <laughs> 
Not so good. You. No bueno. Now, I think Charles, I have like, I think I have like twenty open copies of those. And those never sell open. So those never came two tone, right? No. 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 Okay. That's what I thought. <clears throat> oh, Spaceballs again. Oh yeah, Spaceballs. Uh, they've been coming up, man, and they're still selling high. They're yeah, like, so one sold for nothing, and I didn't bid on it. I wanted to fucking scream. Really. Yeah, one sold for seven fifty. Another one uh, sold for nothing. I just missed the auction entirely. And then there's this one. Wow, wow. that's a classic. I mean, I think Heritage will, will probably have one of those, and, and and it's a movie that you cannot go wrong, man. I mean, who the fuck is paying like top dollar for these uh, like later print Scarfaces? Mm-hmm. It makes no fucking sense. Oh, that's that's not that's the original. Just no. Um... Or did it? That didn't have rainbow, right, Charles? No, no that's the first one. Rainbows. That's the eighty-two, eighty-three. No, because it's got and the it has a on tear the in the bottom of it. The only thing is, it doesn't have the 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 rain the um, wraparound. But that's the first slipcase. It's pretty beat up, though. Yeah, that's yeah. the first slipcase. Yeah, that's not eighty-nine. That's eighty-two. Ah, uh, they messed up. Mm-hmm. But there's another one of those that sold. Jordan. Space Robocop. Somebody's buying a lot of Robocop. Yeah, I got a bunch of the Robocop cartoons, the Marvel cartoons. Oh, that had wraparound. Albert Hitchcock. Wrap yeah, yeah. yeah, I was bidding on that, and then mm, it shot so up. was I. I was like, nope. <laughs> what's Another the best collector set? Like the the Hitchcock. What's what's the the birds? Psycho. Psycho. Yeah, the MCA Rainbow ones, man. Those are good well, ones. Yeah, and there's uh, aren't there um. <gasps> What's isn't there uh the that one I don't know if that was legit. I didn't see watermarks on that one. Is it that one that on I'm this? looking at? Yeah. It should have watermarks. It out? Oh yeah, yeah no. no, that should that's have got watermarks. no watermarks. No, yeah, that's no watermarks. that's no good. You need to watch those super old hip talk tapes like the old bird ones were on uh, magnetic video. Yeah, right. I'm saying, I'm saying rainbow. You need to have the stereo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not even the, the rainbow would be the first one. Yeah. There's the a uh, MCA one. rainbow thing on a no reserve auction with side water marks on eBay right now. Yeah, there is. Charles. Yeah, like Pablo was saying though, the first print of this has like the bar right here. That's a stereo though, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. I just sold one of those. You can buy anything else, I and mean, it's not the first release. You sold the one you got, Charles? The mic. Yeah. God damn it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's very persuasive. Mikey's out there's there. another one. Another cars. I can't even get mad. Mikey definitely offered more than I would. Yeah, while we're looking at the green one, I have a really nice one of those too. I watched all of these. I watched all of these get stolen from out out from under me. The The mummy. The one above it is mine. Fucking I'd stay home, and he had to win the Frankenstein meets the werewolf, and he did not. Cheap bastard. The mummy one blew my mind. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean. I, I, had, I, had, I thought I bid high on it, and it was, was just kept going. So there's yeah, another the one. one of these. Come on, Jordan. Another one. Everybody's getting into the into the goat. That's a, I think that's oh, a reseal. Yeah. How about this too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's a reseal. I think it got returned. No, it had a it has watermarks on yeah, it. Yeah, it has watermarks. Yeah. Where? Oh, oh, which there. was bizarre because I'm like I've never seen the thorny mines with watermarks before. I actually sent this to Mikey, and I was like, "What the fuck? Well, what is this?" I just feel it's a, it obviously came out later, right? So mm-hmm. it went for a good price, if you ask me. If that's the case. yeah, no, it did. I just now I'm like <laughs> sus of all the ones that have sold that don't have watermarks. Yeah, I mean that was going to be a little bit later because I think they still had some leftover cases and they were being ran. Yeah. And they had the because that's the later HBO video. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the Thorn case that they just wrapped late. There was yeah. another one of these that, uh, that sold and then but got realistic and I think was a rewrap. Yeah. So what's the deal, guys? used the HBO video to should rewrap Thorn, Should Thorn EMIs all have watermarks or this one just no. because it was later? No. Just because it was later. Okay. Yeah. They had that for a back scene is what you're looking for, but yeah. Okay. That's a later one, so. Godfather I Max. Snagged that. I didn't know yeah. if it was supposed to have watermarks on it or I'd have been bidding on it. Well done, no, sir. That's mine, yeah. Yeah, it should have watermarks. Yeah, it doesn't have watermarks. Yeah. That's from 79. That's why. Yeah, it's super hard, super possible to find. Yeah. What the hell is this about? No, it's a 90s nonsense. 
374 for a fucking Hulk clamshell? There's no way that's legit. Yeah, the one below it was a steal. I didn't even see that, or I would have been. Oh on yeah, that. the octagon. Love that. But look, guys, some of these we say is fake or not real, but at the end of the day, maybe you know somebody. I mean, it might be. But... It and they they see Hulk on the cover, and it's like, sure, why not? So. Some I don't know how hard it is to find these seals either, I mean, but not much. Those are later ones. Yeah, they they're 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 nineties releases, so it's like I don't know. It's wild. Somebody's I have a ton of these. Um, these are all recent else. sales of the last week, right? No, these are from the end of August. I try not to do I try to skip past the, the week that just passed um so that nobody gets back to word. Can you Dude, look that's at Spellbound's fucking dope. Yeah, that's Spellbound's cool. What do you want to see for Mikey's in the waiting room, guys. Oh. Type the movie Rad. There is a Rad movie available on, on eBay right now. Mikey. Mikey. Yo, gang. What the fuck happened to you? Well, I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, One o'clock in Texas? Yeah, yeah, but I think I fell asleep for like four or five weeks. So now, I'm, now I'm back. And uh, yeah, you got the Clark Kent look. We missed you. <laughs> no, Clark no, Kent no, it was fun. I was watching the last uh, ten minutes, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I bought that Spaceballs." I was like, I that. "Look at this movie, Mikey Rock. <laughs> Trying to win this one, Mikey Rock." Oh, dude, is it NBC? Yeah, yeah, that's a cool one. Fuck, it's gonna go big, man. Is uh, it Nelson? Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Nelson. Okay. Still, I Nelson, that. right? That thing's, yeah, so, Nelson, that thing's so rare. If you get the Look numbers, I've only seen one Embassy of that. That's tough. You should get this movie, Mikey. Yeah, that thing's nuts. Uh, if there's emb- I've only seen one embassy. Embassy's really tough. Uh, I've, I've actually, I've never seen even a Nelson. So like, that movie's just tough in general. It's gonna go for three times. Three times. You think so? That, but, Ooh, we'll find yeah. out tomorrow. <laughs> Five hundred. But if I remember it a bit, I'm doing it. <laughs> what about with the plus sport? Is that first release? No. There's oh man, one. that gremlin sold, huh? I got the gremlin. You did? I got the gremlin. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at that. It's uh, the only first moly. gremlins I've ever seen. Yeah. That's a good oh, one. With uh, yep, two tone. There is another two tone and a sticker. Two tone and no barcode on the side. It's the only one I've seen. Yeah. I've seen that in one beta. Wow, I'm pretty jealous right now. Yeah, look at the Jordan tape. Yeah, this is the one you were just telling me about, huh? That's the one mm-hmm. that, if it has why watermarks, definitely is, is the best basketball tape to buy. In my oh, opinion. this blue. one has blue. <clears throat> mm-hmm. oh, then it's, it's decent, but it's not the same. That's yeah. like the mid tier blue, though, because there's um, you can have it with the square blue, so that's like 1990, then there's the 89, and then there's the 91. Mm-hmm. That's still better than some of them. <laughs> Temple of Doom. Well, oh, Super Mario. I want one of those. Mm, me too. I've been uh, a tight ass holding out for a demo, and I never see one ever. I got one. God damn it. <laughs> it's so good to have you back, Mikey. Yeah. Dickhead, what the I fuck? I missed y'all. I missed <laughs> y'all. <laughs> really, pick up, Mikey. Any, anything close to you to show? I think that was a steal. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Mm. This one? That's yeah. Two, right? and no. the cannon? I, I, I thought I had a bid in for that, like like a snipe bid, and apparently it didn't go through. I would have paid a lot more for that. I love the second uh, one. The first one and the sucks. second one are my favorite. Damn. Is it full box? No. No. Still... No, it's a second one. <clears throat> no, but for five, I mean, it's a thousand dollar tape, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it should have been at least a thousand bucks for that one. If it was a full box, I mean, it would look about five times that, but. It's got that one it's a cool color too, mark. man. I know. I love this. Love this mm-hmm. color. Oh, Can you remove that, this one? <laughs> remove that sticker, right, Charles? Yeah, yeah please. <clears throat> I love this. You know why I think this one and the first one and the second one are my favorite and the rest of the sequels I'm not a fan of because they're the only ones where he does the stupid dance. <laughs> like... I feel like the sequels just miss out on the fact that uh, Leatherface was kind of a fucking goofball. <laughs> It's Toby Hooper at his best, though. You know? I know, yeah, that's what it is. It's Toby Hooper, and then the rest of them, it's just like, nah, okay. If I ever told you my weird stories of Toby Hooper, we'll, we'll save that for another day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, um, 
You guys have anything else you want to add? Mikey, do you have anything you want to show us? Show us, Mikey. Yeah, yeah I grabbed the stuff that was closest to my bed. He's just so. sleeping around piles of VHS tape. Oh, Ooh, what a great movie. Little monsters. Little monsters. What a yeah, good movie. Security there tape is. back here. Dun, dun, dun. So little monsters <laughs> is really good tape. I've only, I don't know, three or four of these I've only seen. And then I've seen a couple mm -hmm. demos, which is pretty cool. And then Paulo was talking about Alfred Hitchcock earlier. And, there it uh, is. I've got there this, Jesus. and I can't say I'm 100% certain if the seal is legit, but I mean, all of the <laughs> lines match up where I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be. No, that looks so, legit. There shouldn't be a watermark on that for the first run, too. Well, no, because of when it was released, because they didn't start doing them until 82. Yeah. So the very first ones won't have it, but the seams seem legit. So. I mean, I'm not the greater yet, but yeah. I'm, I'd say I'm about 80 to 90 percent certain that this is legit. Let me see the bottom of it. I have a few. I have a few of these. Let me see the bottom of it, Mikey. Yeah, that looks right. It looks yeah, right. The way that's right. Yeah, I, I had others that I compared it to, and I was like, yeah, this looks this looks yeah. about right. The plastic, like it's like <clears throat> not like super soft, but, you know, soft enough, soft enough. And I mean, that looks pretty good to me too. And there's no wear on a totally black box, also. So I mean, yeah, those wear. Really Hard. That's pretty yeah. hard to, you know, fabricate. That's dope. So, yeah, this thing's nuts. I got that about a month ago. Yeah. So uh, you will see some of those later on. There's later releases that have the, the MCA watermarks on the side. So you guys will actually see some of those. And then there's a Canadian release that doesn't have a watermark, but has a Canadian sticker on the back. So Yeah, so Psycho and this movie is the, the best two of Hitchcock movies, right? Yeah, I'd rather have Psycho, but uh, I guess out of those, me. Jaws. If you find a Jaws like that, that's sealed. Good lord! No, he said Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Jaws oh, Hitchcock. Hitchcock. Hitchcock movies. Yeah, yeah. Hitchcock movies. I didn't yeah, hear Hitchcock. Hitchcock. No, no, no. I didn't hear Hitchcock. Okay, no, the birds then. Yeah. Every time like, I think of the yeah, birds, Psycho, it just probably. Probably. the best movie. <clears throat> I always I think like it's <laughs> here's the birds, boom, the birds right there. I always think it's such a crazy <laughs> premise, but then I remember when I was a kid and we went to Rome and we were in St. Peter's Square and this lady was eating popcorn and it was like real life watching the birds happen. Like, <laughs> like you fucked up. Day. Why did you bring popcorn out here? You're asking for it. There were swarms of birds, millions of them, mil billions of them. And, and we just killed all of them. Like it was like the, these pigeons would go and swarm and they would cover the entire sky. And they're gone now. They're like extinct. <laughs> it's totally possible. That wasn't even that still, long ago. Mikey's still half like, asleep. You know, about last hundred years. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we're a little bit over our time, so I guess we'll wrap it up here. Um, you guys have anything else you want to add? Do we have any new information about the the auction, Mikey? While we have you here, um, so uh, I think it's still on schedule. We're we're at the whim of VGA at the moment, so it's just about getting those tapes back. It's extremely Halloween focused. It's going to be two days, um, I believe October twenty third and twenty second. Uh, no tape should be under a thousand bucks. It's easily. A million dollar auction there's no like just easily um there's there's a tape in it that better break six figures there's two other tapes in it that have definitely six figure potential it's Jesus. dude it's, it's the best the it's, the, yeah, it's the best it's, so open, it's gonna have some open tapes in it like high-end open tapes um you're gonna love it so the, the, the most the real auction like it makes the other one look sad i mean I, I had my hands on the six-figure tape that Mikey's talking about. It's beautiful. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, the suspense is killing me. I can't yeah, wait. Dude, you're a you're a magician when it comes to fixing those things up. You make them you. Look, you polish them. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Mikey oh, had me do some of his tapes. I flew in and did some of Mikey's tapes. So yeah, Charles is true, true art. Yeah, when I bought the thing from him, flew in, was like, you know what? clean some stuff up for you too what a gentleman i should i should have just paid him for, i would have paid him the same amount for the cleaning I <laughs> it probably added that value to it so it probably did dude, dude it was unbelievable work I have to, dude oh that was, that was a fun day that was a really cool thing you do the process we'll do more in october how about that i'll be there i'm, I'm excited for it yeah let me know the dates for sure mikey because I, I think i saw it was 26 27 now 
It's so in wanna... the 20s. I promise you it's in the 20s. <laughs> I think it's 26. I'm gonna... It's close to Halloween. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> I got a plane ticket already. I'll be there. Don't worry. Yeah, I might fly out there too. Yeah, 22nd and 23rd. That will be Saturday and Sunday. Hey. Those, those will be the best. I wish thing. it was 22nd and 23rd. It'd be better. You guys can all fly out, bring some tapes. I'll clean everybody's tapes. We'll have, oh, a, clean tape. we'll have a tape cleaning party. All right. Tape cleaning party. With that, I will roll our outro here. Thank <laughs> you.